they use my uh, wounds that I sustained in combat against me to justify taking away my kids. And they basically set my child support based on a business that I didn't own anymore and basically said, it's okay, you can have it adjusted in two years because that's the law. So that was pretty much it for me. Okay, so then to rephrase, your ex-wife murdered your dog in order to manipulate a system based on gender inequality to your disadvantage, and that was caused by a social movement for gender equality. Well, the feminism has controlled, you know, the Senate, the House, and basically, okay. you know, what? they're in charge of the VAWA. VAWA, hang on, just listen to me, VAWA, all the child support laws which violate the Violence Constitution of the United Canada? States. Yeah. So you, is, is you're that, saying like the whole violence against here? women, act, you, well, you deserve extra, uh, you know, extra protections because you got a slot seat between your legs? Come on. You're already protected under the Constitution. Why do you no, need more? Not. The word woman. Oh, you're not protected. You're not, you are not protected in the Constitution at all. No. Oh, there we go. Right there. Boom. I don't know what you're booming okay. about. Well, let's, let's, well, let's you know, clarify. The Constitution the applies to every single citizen of the United States. It doesn't say man or woman. It's, you know, Jesus. It definitely says okay, man. Gotcha. Oh, okay. All right. So, I mean, so, so Val was totally justified because, you know, the Constitution was written by white men. It didn't apply, doesn't apply to women at all, right? Is that what you're saying? No, you said that women were protected under the Constitution, and I said that's not accurate because we're not. He, he means that includes men and women. Like they're, they're, they're both protected under an umbrella well, I mean, of the Constitution. Correct. Well, I, they're protected from the government, sure, but not from men. And you're referring to the Violence Against Women Act, which is specifically about domestic violence against women. And which women are responsible for half the violence in domestic violence cases. So, well, I mean, again, that's another non-factual statistic, but I will, I will one hundred percent accept that domestic violence against men is a problem and it exists. What do you, uh, what do you, what do each of you say when someone draws the comparison and says that you're both just the you're doing the same thing for your gender. You know, MGTOW is the, the men's response to feminism. Like what, what are the differences there? Uh, well, at its core, MGTOW is just a logical response to the state of, of the world. I mean, in regards to the one-sided laws, the destruction of marriage, there's, there's no benefit in it in, in that regard for men anymore and a lot of them are the same fuck it they're living their life and they're doing their own thing and imres um well if the characterization of mikto is that men are frustrated about having fewer benefits then i would argue that feminism is the quest to achieving the same benefits as men have always had and so in that way we're not parallel but uh inverse reflections of one and another. what benefit and, um, and what benefit are you speaking of well i'm i mean i was using your words specifically you said okay. that are, men, are you, you said men are you have familiar no benefits so they're exiting society are you familiar with um uh risk equals reward that concept in as they teach it in economics Sure. Okay. Well, if you're familiar with that, then you'll realize that 94% of all workforce deaths and maimings happen to men. That's 6% to women. Does that seem like a disparity to you? Is that a sure. question, though? Is that merely because men tend to take more physical jobs? Uh, well, ten, higher, higher men take jobs physical. that are physical, risky, dirty, and discomfort. The triple D's, and it's not a bra size. Good one. Oh, All right, see, uh, women uh, don't do that. And then, 
But that generally is because of physical. And then they complain about how it's unfair. Right? Well, I and mean, you would say women women think there is no difference between men, when it, men and women because it's a social construct. Is that is that the case, Emmers? Because obviously there's physical differences. I mean, I think in the social movement, when they talk about equality or even better equity, um, it's that all, in the eyes of the law, people should be treated the same, correct? Not that there's not yeah. any difference between uh, men and women. Clearly, there's some differences. Yes, correct. But- if not, I would be, you know, bisexual, and I'm not. I happen like women, so there's definitely differences that I'm aware of. Oh, no one wants to imagine that, Steve. Yeah, no one, no one. wants to imagine that. All right. Uh, let me ask All a quick right, question. Um, what's the difference between MRA, uh, MRA and MGTOW, if you can briefly explain for people? Uh, men's right activists are groups of men that gather together uh, to actually uh, try to influence uh, policy laws and so forth uh, to – Basically, even even the playing field now, where MGTOW guys just say the hell with it, and they're not messing with that at all, and they just leave. Okay, so, yeah, no, I got. It. Uh, so, so I'm still trying to wrap my head around the the the, the MGTOW position. I mean, the feminist movement is generally, and I'm not a feminist either, so I'm, let me get out of the way, but. The feminist movement generally tries to strive for certain things like equality um, and equal playing fields. Now, yeah, I I understand egalitarianism, and when I talk about feminism, in that regard, I'm an egalitarian. But I know modern feminists tend not to do that. They don't like the word egalitarian, from my experience. They go to second and third wave feminists. But by the way, I don't think Emmerich even supports that. But uh, this, the, why do men need a very specific movement when historically men has have men have had the advantage? That's just a social fact. I don't think anybody really can deny that men have mainly have had advantages in history over women and been dominant over men. Women, would you not agree? Um. Well, I mean, in the what we're we talking the past, or we're we talking yeah, like, historically since 1950. Historically, men and women are different. You know, women, you know, historically were looked at to bring on the next generation, which requires a lot of time, effort, and resources. And they stayed home and and took care of that while the dudes went out and worked and brought back the money. So that's that's how it worked. If if they want to characterize that as domination, then it's kind of one-sided. Would you say that women who don't have a right to vote are dominated by people who do have a right to vote? Well, I am a big fan. Um, if you want to vote, you need to register for the draft. And if you're not willing to do that, then you shouldn't be able to vote. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if you and know this, but in and 2018, that's, there was a bill that was knocked down by Senate Republicans that didn't allow women to enter the draft, although we did lobby to allow, and it was passed by the House by both parties. So I'm not sure if you know that, but um, well, I know the reality now, now, is that we were speaking historically are from, and are you, are you have with now? that men have been privileged through two millennia of history and that women gained the right to vote in the United States less than 100 years ago. So my question is, do you or do you not accept that men have had privilege for the last 2,000 years or more? I do not accept men have had a privilege for 2,000 years. What? Why not? Well, uh, throughout history, men have been doing the dying. Back before the Geneva Convention, when an army of men marched out to war, you won and you lived or you lost and every man to the last man was killed. Is that some kind of privilege? I don't think so. Well, let me ask you. Let me ask you something. If if me and a bunch of my girlfriends get together and then we start an argument and start slapping each other, you you have privilege because you weren't invited to the fight, or is it just that we started a fight with one another and we started slapping one another and you weren't invited? See, there you go with the one-sidedness of your argument. You're assuming that, you know, at the, these these countries or cultures that went to war was all just men. 
There's men well, and women in that? those cultures. Yeah, but there was men and women in those cultures. The women got to stay home and do their deal, and men had to go to war. And a lot of times, back before there was a draft, um, especially during the feudal times, it was the, you go or you die. And then if you go and you lose, you still die. What, what, where's, where's the privilege in that? Please give me but a again, break. Isn't that based upon physicality, though? I mean, uh, men historically have been the physically dominant species. That's just something that's a biological thing we can't change. No, no, no. no. We're, um, we're the same species. Uh, men and yeah, women yeah, are the same <laughs> species. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do grab that. The, Homo sapien sapien. Uh, yes, I understand that. I'm saying that they are the dominant the, physically. Right. So, so in, when you go to war, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with women in combat. I really am. I have no issue with it whatsoever. Um, if they meet the same stringent, um, conditioning that men have, and we all been through boot camp, correct. Women can do it just uh, as one well. standard, but, but of course there are some, yeah, there, and, I, and I'm fine with that. There, and there's, there, well, there's some modifications, obviously, um, you know, there's physical limitations there, but if they can do the requirements set forth that women have the standard, I'm all for that. I believe that they should be able to go to combat if by their choice, but Generally, in wartime situation, men are going to be the stronger physically person to dominate the the the, uh, the enemy, correct? And especially in, in historical times, I mean, obviously, today we have things like we equalizers, like weapons of, of mass destruction and guns, you know, but back then, 2,000 years ago, it was a lot of more hand-to-hand with a spear kind of thing, right? Yeah, but a lot of the war was actually won through maneuvering, which required a lot of running and carrying a bunch of crap. It's still the same today. Okay. Okay. No, I don't disagree uh, with Imras, that. Imras, follow up on that? Well, I'm not really sure. I mean, what what is the follow up to that, that? That men are not advantaged because they had to go to war? Is that well, you, you're saying that, you know, we're advantaged because we're bigger and stronger and somehow we're responsible because the creator made us that way. Well, I'm sorry. And also, being a man is not always uh, a good thing. Um, you know, we have to work our asses off. We die on the job. We get sucked into wars. We're maimed. You know, we have a higher percentage of dying on the street. I, you know, I'm all for women equality, and I want you to get half of that cup, drink half from that cup of expendability that men have for the past two millennia. And if you're not willing to do that, then you don't want equality. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that I'm not willing to do that. Um, again, okay. like how I'm, old not are you? To- I'm not, how old are you? How does it matter? Yeah. Cause if you're under 40, go out and list in the United States army or shut your mouth. So okay, then let me just. Oh 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 oh, this, oh, it, oh! I'm asking. I'm asking it, to put your money where your mouth is, right? Right. And now you're gonna no, backpedal and do some mumbo jumbo on me, right? Yeah, that's be good. No, I'm not. Bring it it's on. not really mumbo jumbo. It's just that what you're saying is that the only value that men add to society is being members of the army, and I feel like most men would disagree with that. No, but. The, the, Historically, men who went in the military paid the ultimate price. Well, so do women who go in the military. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. If you look at the stats, I believe ninety-eight percent of the killed and wounded in the since they started keeping those stats in the United States Army is ninety-eight percent men, two percent women. Well, women aren't allowed so am to I saying, the combat, so that makes sense, does it? Well, they I mean, I also don't really understand why this is fly helicopters. What, what, what are you talking about? Like, why is it, it, why is it relevant how many women died in combat versus because men? Because like, I what, want what you, you to drink your share from the cup of expendability, and that means moving forward, okay, I would like to see half of them last year. I don't know. I don't keep track of that. How many men were murdered uh, uh, by so, a domestic so, partner? Uh, uh, okay, that, that's a natural function. Are you saying that somehow we Being should compare by a war to a natural, is a natural function? No, 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 no. You said childbirth before this, right? Okay. Is, is, that, a, is, that, a, is that a natural function? Isn't that the primary well, purpose? Or the or, or, or the women are the only ones that can actually do that as of uh, 2018, correct? Well, I would disagree with primary purpose, but uh, as far as I know. Okay, then 
so if, only if women under- start-